So check this out, y'all. We went out to Welsh, Louisiana in the rice fields. And we know that Welsh, Louisiana is known, you know, for the rice around that area. And it's a very, very prairie-like. They call it the Prairie Cajun area. And um, this day just so happened to be right when the cold front came in. And uh, we had some ducks that were actually coming out of the salt water, coming up into the prairie, into the rice fields. So my buddy Papa Puff, he's a very well-known drummer around here, Mr. Dave Nazat. Uh, him and his son, uh, Caleb, we all got together and met up with some friends. So we went out on their family's property in Welsh, Louisiana. And they had everything, y'all. They had the nice blinds, lots of property, um, away from all of civilization and things like that that can interrupt the flow of the birds, you know. And uh, man, I'll tell you, we got in there, they set up uh, decoys, a nice spread of decoys on both sides of the levee. And um, the duck blind was centered in the center of the levee. We just so happened to got in there, we set up and everything, they spread the decoys out. And uh, I'll tell you what, we sat there and we talked a little bit and they explained, you know, a lot of exciting stories and the history of these hunts and things that they had there in the past on their family's property that's been in their family for a long time and I'm sure they come from generations of duck hunters. It's really nice to see that Papa Puff brought his son Caleb out. You know, nowadays fewer kids are into the outdoors the way they were back in the old days. Like Papa Puff, for example, when he was a kid, his mother would send him out in the woods. Him and his brother, they would go hunting and uh, kill squirrels and woodcock and uh, duck and things like this. But they'd bring him back home for their family to eat for dinner, you know. So this was a real thing. And uh, it's good to see that he has his son out there and spreading this family tradition down to another generation. Now, not only is it a Cajun Creole tradition to get up early in the morning and go hunting, it is a human tradition. If you go back 6,000 years ago, every man hunted. Y'all, we, really we really had a blast that morning. I mean, we got in there, the ducks were flying. Now, the ducks were not flying as much as they should have been, but what we noticed is they were so high. They were flying very high up over the... Um, the duck blind to where we couldn't really get a good shot at them. Now, uh, Papa Puff, also um, little Caleb, they're good callers. Me, I'm not so good at calling ducks in. Now, if they come in close enough, as y'all see from the footage, I will blast them. One thing I can really say is that I feel very blessed to be surrounded by people who have the same love and interest that I do for nature and being out there learning more about nature and how to hunt and survive. A ball. Let me tell y'all something. Them dogs, them dogs were at it, y'all. We needed that help, really. I mean, as soon as the birds hit the water, them dogs went right out there and retrieved them, brought them in. If any ducks landed in the decoys that we didn't know about, them dogs were right on them ducks. So we started getting all these exotic birds coming in. Well, I wouldn't say exotic, but exotic for the rice fields. So uh, we had some, um, we had a blackjack fly by. The dog went and got the blackjack. And uh, we also had some, um, we had some margansas come by. And we shot both of them. We shot a male and a female. And uh, uh, the hen, she kind of like floated over along the levee and we let her go over and expire and uh the drake he landed on the opposite side of the levee that he started off on and uh the dog went and retrieved him for us and let me tell y'all it took that dog 10 minutes to catch that bird yeah it was really a trip to sit there and watch this but uh yeah it worked out really well well i want to thank y'all for showing your support to wild watson outdoors also, uh, keep in touch. There'll be more videos and everything coming out, so uh, spread the word. And subscribe to my video and my YouTube channel because I would like to get more people to have in and share in the excitement that I get from nature. But also, um, for people to see that just simple, simple amusement and simple fun and pleasure 
I mean, sometimes things like that, I mean, that's what life is all about. And those are the things that make me proud to be a human. Wow, Watson, outdoors.